It was just like any other day. I opened my eyes to look at the godforsaken mess that was strewn across my floor. Making my way to the bathroom, I could feel last night's excesses playing in my mouth. Beating on my head, I pissed them away. And here it comes, bang on time, the blind pew bus, ready to take me away to London, England. On board was Paul the Captain McGranigan, Daryl the Boss Lament, my secretary Mrs. Allison Gray, the notorious criminal Colin T. Bird Thornton, and our getaway driver Paul. And that's me, Andrew Super Sexy McGregor. Everything was going to plan, until... Something went bang on the bus. Definitely not the gears this time, but I'm not sure what it is. So where are we now? We are side of a motorway next to a dead hill. If you'd like to see the dead hair that's lying there. Look where we are. Pan break. I'm going to break down, I'm going to break down. It doesn't fucking make any difference, I don't know. Aye, right there. You fill us in, Renee. What's, uh, what's happening now, pal? Well, we, we got fleeced for six pounds um, <laughs> off what we believe to be a, a woman stranded. Uh, I think she was stranded for smack. She was in a no-go area. Dell gave her six pounds and I helped her out with about 150. Dell standing to my immediate right. True. And, uh, you know, we're going to take it from there. I've been playing a lot of good tennis for the last kind of four years. And uh, I'm, I'm happy with my my performances and good, good. We'll just, uh, you know I can only wish that Stu was here at this time uh, I'm sure he would moan his face right off and, and rightly so one quick fix later <laughs> not only had the man from the RAC saved our bus he had saved our pride he was a genius Five out of five, I didn't see you. Oh, let's, But there was one missing piece to this jigsaw. Stew Hungry Bones Macintosh. Big appearance. Can I just point out something? You would never get a head of Guinness like that in Scotland. Disappointment is the only feeling I'm having at this moment in time. I'm going to have to fight myself through it. Spade that fucking head right out of that pipe. And soon it was time for us as a band to do what we had come here to do. Well, who's to blame for kids these days? Seem to own the streets well. So you say, but I don't blame them. So why should you? It seems like the media tells you just what to do. Mother! Night then, Stuart. How did the gig go? I learned that I'm still wanted for crimes, crimes against yeah. Africa. Have <laughs> <laughs> you had any complaints about the music, right? Hi, Santa. It's the witch. Merry Christmas. Yeah. <laughs>
we know you're making your list and checking it twice, but we just thought we'd call yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been really nice. Yeah, we hope they have a great Christmas this year. Because we're going to eat. I got a teddy bear last year, and his ears were on backwards. Just, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Be careful. And those holes in the socks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you ready? Okay. This is it. We're ready to rock. CD time, baby. <laughs> this is the aftermath of some Colin Thornton CD throwing. <laughs> I'm filming it, baby. I've got the best angle. Three CDs for sale. I was in Manchester and I got the same old shit. And another failure. I know, that's too many failures. I think I'm going to retire. The decline of it, Eba. So is it required? See it here. Wipe away it here. And soon it was all over for the T-Bird. He's never been the same since. Madness drove him to dance like an idiot to banjo music the entire journey back. But worse was the sexual harassment of my secretary. A personal insult to me. There was no way back for the T-Bird now. No way but down. And before I knew what had happened, I find myself back in Glasgow. Back in the Wawa Hut. In King Tut's Wawa Hut. As you can see from the look on Stu's face, it is a place of delight. We ate the last supper. What are you having there, Stu? You want to tell me? Oh, yeah. Tasty. Tasty, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Our stomachs filled and our hearts strengthened. It was time to do what we had come here to do all over again. I just ran over my girlfriend in my little Volkswagen car. And it wasn't an accident It was good for me and for her There are times that I wake up in the middle of the night and think it must have been a dream But then I remember that sometimes dreams can come true I start the count and I say Two, three, four! Cross. 